Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Trust you guys had an amazing and amazing Easter holiday as I did. Uh, happy new month by the way guys. I had an amazing Easter holiday. I have had a great start of the month. It's my birthday month. I'm gonna be turning 31 uh, in the next uh, in the next two or three weeks from now. So that's why I'm doing this video. I want to tell you guys some of the lessons that I learned in my 20s. Yeah, it's been long overdue. I was supposed to create this last year, but I wasn't able to do that. So this is why I am doing this just before I get to turn 31. Yeah, so let's get straight into this video. So the first lesson that I've learned is uh, reinvent yourself as many times as you can. To always to find your true self you don't need someone to come and tell you uh, who you are or what you're supposed to be in life you are the only person who can determine the type of person that you want to become in life you are your own source of happiness so someone else's uh, opinion about you should not be the definition of your source of happiness in life you're the only person who can validate yourself don't look for other people's validation to define the type of person that you want to become for you to be your true self let you be the only person who can do that for yourself. The second lesson that I have learned is do not be too hard on yourself when it comes to finding love or finding Mr. Bright or Mrs. Wright, whichever. Don't be so hard on yourself to find the right person to get married to or to settle down with. There are, life is not all about like finding the right person for you, finding love and all that. Find a career that works for you, that you love, that you are passionate about. A career that fulfills you or a business that's gonna fulfill you, that's gonna guarantee a better, a better future for yourself. Find the right type of friends that make you, a make you wanna become a better person, a better version of yourself. A circle of friends that build you. The right person will always find you. Love will find you along the way eventually. You do not need to start like pressure yourself so much into, you know, settling down so fast in your 20s and all that. Like you just don't need that. Just focus on growing yourself. Focus on being the best version of, of yourself so that even when that right person finds you, you're gonna find the best the best version of yourself lesson number three is that you receive the kind of love that you attract if you're a person who is always about negative energy trust you me you're gonna attract negative energy around you the friends you hang out with the people you meet along the way they're just gonna be all about negative energy but if you're good vibes you are about positive energy you gas yourself up every now and then you always ce celebrate your small uh, your wins your small and big milestones in life trust you me that is the kind of love you're gonna attract for yourself as well if you also practice self-love as in you just take care of yourself mentally emotionally physically and even spiritually even when the right when you meet the right friends or even the, a partner that you're gonna spend the rest of your life with it becomes easy you can be able to separate yourself from bad or, or bad or good energy you are able to differentiate when it comes to people who bring about a positive energy and those that bring about a negative energy and you're able to stay clear of that it enables you to actually get uh, to a point where you love yourself enough to know when you are not getting the you're not being treated the way you're supposed to be treated you're self-aware of the type of person you want the type of person that the type of love that you actually want to attract to yourself if you learn to do that in your 20s by the time you get to your 30s you're actually going to be a, a much much better person when you actually comes to cre uh, to creating strong uh bonds uh strong bonds in your relationship whether it's friendships or it's your with your partners as well lesson number four is uh don't wait for the right time to do something do it now i have learned that the hard way by the time i've gotten to my 30s i'm like uh the things i wish i started way early when i was back in my 20s is you know you don't want to get to your 30s and you have uh you regret not doing some things when you're back in your 20s Find, uh, make use of your talents, make use of your good, of your gifts, make use of your 
make up make use of your time that you have in your 20s you have so much time to actually build on your career on your business on what you want to do to be what the type of person you want to be in life like you have so much time don't just be about um going out hanging out with your friends drinking and all that just take some time to just do something for yourself that is going to build you to become a better person in the future take as many courses as you can there's so many online free courses that you can take take a photography class take a baking class whichever class that you want to do that don't be like uh I'll do this some other time. You don't you feel like you're not good enough to do that for the time being. You don't have this and these. You do not have if you want to create content in your 20s you like you don't have money to buy a camera. You have a phone, you have a smartphone. Start with that. You do not have to wait until you have money to buy something so that you can be able to now start doing it. Do it start right now. Make the most out of all those things that you have right now. Even if nikidogo aje just make use of them, your talents, your gifts, just pursue your dreams now. Like usingoze nini, usingoze ukwe at a certain age or when you have money to do three, one or two things. Don't do that. Just start doing it right now. Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. Do it, start it right now. Okay. Lesson number five is uh, some friends are seasonal. Yep, I know it's a bit of pill to swallow, but some friends are seasonal. I've fallen out of friend uh, out of friendships with uh, so many people along the way, and it's okay. I have learned to actually know that it was okay for me to not be friends with them anymore. You know, you get to a certain point in your life and your life, you have outgrown the friendship, and it is okay. You do not have to be friends. Don't force yourself on someone. Don't do that. Just respect yourself enough to just walk away from a friendship that is not working for you anymore. It is okay, girl. Just walk out. Female friendships are just the best. I have built friendship. I still I'm still friends with some of my girls from campus. I am still friends with some of my girls from high school. I am still friends with some. I have made friends along the way. My career uh, friends from uh, when I was employed. Friends from when uh, when I became a makeup artist and a content creator. I have made friends along the way. So be open to making new friends. As you go along along the way, you're gonna make other new friends. Don't be so hard on yourself when you lose a friend, you fall out of friendship, or a friendship with someone that you knew for so long. It is okay, by the way. And female friendship is just the best. They do not have to be all dramatic and all that. If you, those are the type of friends you're hanging out with in your 20s, drop them. You need friends who are going to build you up. Yeah. So look for friends who are going to be there for you even when you're in the worst point of your life people you can actually confide in people you actually trust people you can actually count on when you are in a in when you're in a when you're going through some mess, uh, when you're going through some difficult uh, difficult issues in your life also when it comes to friendship don't all be the person that is always there to just you know be receiving 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 all the time also be a person who actually gives be there for your friends as well don't don't just be the person type of person who is just all about it uh, Whenever they need you is when, uh, whenever you need something from a friend, that is when you actually show up. Do not do that. You know. Mm -mm. And if you're that type of, if you're that type of a friend, just up your game. Start being there for your friends. Check up on your friends as well. Check also, the same goes for your relationship. You're going to, you are going to go through a whole lot of drama and mess in your relationships along the way and it is okay girl just learn to just work out if it is not working things to work out and they're not working out just work out yeah so always do that i mean i've had my fair share of uh bad relationships and bad breakups and i can't guarantee you uh I am happy I went through that. They are a lesson for you. You get to learn so much and they actually get to make you a better person. Even when you, as in by the time you get to decide like you've had enough and then decide to stay single. Ah, it's so liberating. I mean, you feel so good about yourself because you know what you can take from a man and what you can't take from a man. So just 
Respect yourself enough to work out from a relationship that is not working. Do not stay in a toxic relationship. Do not stay in a messy relationship. Do not stay in a violent relationship. Just respect yourself enough to work out. Okay. Yes, and you're always going to find that one person that is going to love you for the person you are and respect you enough. Yeah, the person is supposed to be your soulmate. Yeah. I eventually did that. I eventually got my found my soulmate and it's the best thing in the world. Like falling in love and uh, being in love is just the best, best thing I have ever experienced in my life. Yeah. Lesson number six is learn to say no. It is okay to say no. To your friends, to your partner, to whoever, it is okay to say no. Uskakwe mtu wakupele kwa hivi na upepo kila wakati. Mtu anataka you show up somewhere, you're there. Even when you're not feeling, you're not feeling it, you're in a bad place in your life, or you're just not feeling it and you don't want to actually go out. You have, you feel like it, it's not, it's gonna be, it's gonna, like, you're gonna offend the other person because you said no. Mm. You're responsible for the choices that you make in life and also learn to take responsibilities for all the choices you're gonna make in life. Be responsible. Okay, so always make sure you make the right choices in life. And these choices you make in life by day, they will go a long way. So, leo kiamu utataka post news on your social media just because trying to chase clouds. The internet never forgets this it's gonna follow you a long way so whatever choices you make make sure you're making the right choices make sure there are decisions that you can actually live up to and you're, you're gonna be answerable to the choices that you made the last lesson which is uh number eight Married your expectation with people and this is such a hard one because oh my god i have learned this the hard way having expectations uh, about the way people should treat you the way uh actually because you're giving you expect they're gonna give back you guys like that's why well, that's why they normally say tender me man and zako when expectations from people why people are gonna disappoint you i have been disappointed enough time to a place to a point where i got i got to a point where i have actually learned to actually separate the two i do my part and that's it i won't expect anything from the person and that's it and i walk away if they actually decide to be kind enough and actually show the same type of uh, kindness that i showed them it is okay i am fine with that if they don't i am okay with that so i've actually learn how to actually manage my expectations with people be it friends be it strangers that i have never met along the way be it my clients be it my partner i have actually learned how to actually manage my expectations okay expectations from people aki guys hey you will be disappointed so if you just learn how to just manage them so that is all i had for today i hope you learned uh something from my lessons and uh if you're below 30s and uh watching this Please take note of all these lessons that I've, told, I've talked about and just try and incorporate them if you actually you haven't actually started uh, learning how to learning some of these lessons and uh, making some of these mistakes. Okay, so that's it for today. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment on the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly go ahead and do subscribe. Turn on the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video on the channel. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!